and welcome back to this week's Selling with John show. I'm your host, John Noh, that's J-O-N, from sellingwithjohn.com, and I'm going to bring you more fast-paced sales tips that you can go use straight away. It's going to help you get better results, close more deal, and ultimately make more money. Now, as usual, my three promises to you. Everything I teach you is proven. I've walked my talk. It's something I've used myself. Secondly, it's based on your feedback. Thanks for the emails. Thanks for the great response to last week's show. This week's show is built around all the feedback you've given me and answering your questions. And thirdly, obviously I can only teach so much in a 10 minute show. So at the end, I'll share with you how you can continue your education with me if you want to learn more about how to sell over the phone and get much better results. Always got to keep a clear head when you're selling. You've got to remember you're there to help your customer, help your prospect achieve something, resolve a problem. By working with you, you are adding value and assisting them in some way that ultimately is going to help them make more money or it's going to help them save some money. Ultimately, they're going to be better off for working with you. So what's really important is you never ever screw a prospect over when they become a customer. You've got to always deliver on what you promise. If you promise something up front that you know you can't deliver, it's going to hurt you. It just means you're going to end up in a cancellation, a complaint, you're going to lose the customer. And you got to remember, all these customers, they're going to speak to other people. And if you screw them over, they're going to do something back to you that's going to hurt you. They may go tell 100 people, and that's 100 people that would never, ever do business with you again. On the flip reverse of it, though, if you do a great job, and you deliver on what you said, and you, you deliver the results that you promised them, they're going to tell 100 people how great you are. And that potentially means that's 100 more people coming in your direction. It's called karma. If you deliver on what you promise, you'll get it back. If you screw someone over, you're going to get it back on you as well. So make sure you never, ever screw a customer over. Deliver on what you promised, do things the right way, and you will benefit in kind over a longer period of time. You want to wear big boy trousers like this? Then you've got to be closure of the month. You've got to be top corner. <laughs> Look at my trousers. Ten years ago, I got into NLP and all these other weird scientists like hypnosis and tapping and things like that. One of the cool things I picked up was that apparently if you tap there on your hand, it's the reset button in your body. Okay, pretty cool whether it's true or not. But what I've been doing over the last 10 years is whenever I've felt good or I've had a good experience, I've just tapped there on my hand and I anchor it to that position. And what it's allowed me to do is if I'm feeling nervous or I'm not feeling it, I've got 10 out of 10, I can just sit there tapping my hand and it unleashes, it unlocks all those memories and start boosting me up and making me feel good. And I, I added into that my own personal mantra where while I'm tapping, I just start going, Doing business with me is the best decision anyone can make. Doing business with me is the best decision anyone can make. Doing business with me is the best decision anyone can make. And what it allows is it just it energizes me. It unlocks all those great emotions and it gets me fired up to nail that next call. So I want you to think about this tapping and I want you to think about your own personal mantra, something that when you say it, it energizes you, it excites you and it gets you ready to smash your next call. I close, I close, I'm the best, I'm the best, I'm the best, yeah! If I said Paul Gascoigne to you, you're all going to have different reactions to it, but what's your reaction? Is it hatred because he's an alcoholic, a wife beater? Is it you hate him because he played for Tottenham and you're an Arsenal fan? Or, like me, do you think he's the greatest football that ever lived? You know, as a kid I got to watch him play at White Hart Lane every week. He was my idol, I, I love football, I love Tottenham. And I got to watch him every week. So when I talk about Paul Gascoigne, I get really good emotions. I get excited about it. And it really amps me up. It's a really pleasurable experience for me. It might not be for anyone else, but that's what it is for me. If I flipped it round and talked about baked beans. Well, I hate baked beans. To me, they're the root of all evil. They just, oh, they make me cringe. They make me feel sick just thought of seeing them on my plate. I, I, I can't stand them. I don't know why that is. I just don't like them. Other British people, they're, they're the root of a diet, you know, they, they, they have to have baked beans. A breakfast isn't breakfast without baked beans. To foreign people, they probably just think we're weird and go, why are you eating these horrible baked bean things? But for me, that's painful. I've told you two really key bits of information about me that you can have a good conversation with me about now. If you want to get me excited and get me to do something in a nice way, talk to me about Paul Gascoigne. If you want to do it in a not so nice way, talk to me about baked beans. I can't stand them. It'll put me in pain. Either way. 
you've got two ways of making me take action, pleasure or pain. So think about that with your prospects. What's pleasurable for them? What's enjoyable to motivate them towards something? But also what's painful for them to make them look over their shoulder and go, oh no, I've got to get away from that. Because as you uncover these types of bits of information, it's all stuff that will help you build value in your case to lead to a close. I am HypnoCat and you will buy from me. Buy from me. Good day to my friends. Today, I, HypnoCat, will discuss some NLP skills with you. I'm going to look at a language pattern that's so simple to use, but it's majestic. It's the word but. If a prospect says to you, I'm really interested in your product, HypnoCat, but it's not the right time for me now, what I can do to keep the conversation is flip the but round and say, you may not have the time now, but you are really interested in my product. And by doing that, it allows me to keep the conversation going and find out what their real interest is and ignore the stall that the time isn't right for them right now. <laughs> I'm HypnoCat. Often when people buy something, it actually ultimately comes out as quite irrational. They bought something because they wanted it. And they didn't really need a reason, they just wanted it. Your job as a salesperson, though, is to make sure you establish that reason. I take my wife as an example here, that she's really good at going and buying handbags. Now, I know that she'll go and buy a handbag because it's the last one or it's on special offer, and that's the only reason she bought it. However, by the time she gets home, she would have come up with the best reason in the world to why she bought that handbag. And the reason she does that is she bought it for an irrational reason, but she needs a rational reason to explain to me, because I'm going to go, why did you buy that, darling? And she's going to go, I bought that because... You've got to make sure whatever you do when you're selling, you're building that because case. And here's the scenario. You close the deal, you put the, they put the phone down and your prospect has just become a customer, walks over to someone and goes, I've just spent X amount with this guy. And the other person goes, why on earth did you do that? You need to make sure that person can go, I did that because X, Y, Z. I did that because it's going to give me this, this and this. I did that because it's going to make me feel great. The power of because is amazing in humans to justify our actions. It justifies why we do anything. So when you're selling and closing, make sure you've always got that because clear with your customer. So if someone says to them, why did you just spend money with that guy? They can go, I did it because of this reason. Ned just hit target for the first time. Look at Ned go, see how happy he is. How do you celebrate your sales successes? Everyone's time is scarce. That's the one thing that everyone has a lack of at the moment is time. They're already busy. So you've got to get straight to the point. You've got to get them engaged and activated straight away so they're interested in talking to you. You've got to do something that makes them think, yeah, I, I want to spend a few minutes talking to this guy. While you're doing that, in turn, you want to make sure you are speaking to the right person. So you've got to start qualifying them up front. You've got to make sure that we're having this initial conversation, but I need to know whether I'm going to invest more time in it. So while you're engaging and activating, at the same time, you've got to qualify to make sure this is worth you investing your time in. So both parties, straight to the point, very direct. What you're then doing is you've decided to invest your time. You need to keep discovering. You need to share examples of how you've helped other people. You need to share some insights from the market. You need to really understand what they need and what they want as business to understand how you can help them. And once you've done this, so you've engaged, you've got them qualified, you've done a discovery and you know this is a good deal, that's when you move to a negotiation and close because you've ticked all the boxes. You've got to be in a position where they're crazy not to buy from you. 15 second sales tips. The importance of following up. 2% of sales are made on the first contact. 3% of sales are made on the second contact. 5% of sales are made on the third contact. 10% of sales are made on the fourth contact. 80% of sales are made on the fifth, 12th contact. 15 second sales tips. Negativity will kill your sales success. It's, that, it's as simple as that excuses, whatever. Anytime you let yourself lower your standards, you are hurting your potential. You're giving yourself an excuse not to perform. And let me just tell you something. The whole freaking world is too expensive at the moment. We pay too much for our gas. We pay too much for our electric. Petrol stations are crazy. Just everything. The whole world is too expensive. And we all hear that people have got no money to spend. That's rubbish. People have always got money to spend. People love spending money. Spending money makes people feel great. 
but they will spend money on something that makes them feel good. And just think about it. Do you go to work each day and buy yourself a packet of cigarettes, but you've got no money? Do you go and buy yourself a per cup of posh coffee when you could have had it for like a fifth of the price and had a whole jar? You know, it's what's in it for you. Do you, do you drink water out of tap or do you go buy bottled water? But you've probably got no money. I understand. It's excuses. And it's excuses that will kill your sales success. When I was younger, uh, you know, I used to need to go and get some money. So I used to walk around the local houses and go clean cars. So, you know, I'd always try and find houses with nice cars outside because they obviously meant they had a bit more money because they could afford the nicer cars. So if I saw like a new or a nice BMW on a driveway, yeah, good, good, that guy's got some money. So knock on the door, do you want your car clean, mate? And they would go, oh yeah, please. I go, do you want the standard wash or the super wash? And they would go, oh, just standard's fine. And I'd go, oh, what do you mean? What do you mean? Oh, well, you spent all this money on this lovely car. Yeah. You only want the standard wash? Give me a couple of extra quid and I'll use the special wax and I'll make it look like you've just come off the forecourt. Think how good that would feel in front of all your friends when you're driving that lovely brand new feeling car again. And they'll go, oh, good point. Yeah, uh, uh, I'll tell you what, I'll, 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 I'll have the super wash then. So just by pushing a little bit, I got the deal already, but I just pushed that little bit more and gave them a reason and justified to them why they should spend a little bit more money to have that higher level of service from me. More, more, bravo, bravo, more, 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 bravo. That's it. That's a wrap for this week's Selling With John show. Now, if you want some more information from me, go to www.sellingwithjohn.com and that's John without an H, just J-O-N. And I'm giving away my free phone closures cheat sheet at the moment. It's absolutely amazing. It's going to help you bust it on the phone. It's going to help you smash it and get great results. So check that out. At the same time, send me an email to info at Selling With John if you've got any questions or success stories, anything you want to share with me about this episode, happy to cover it off in a future episode. But that's all for this week. Hope you smash it. Hope you have a great week. John out. Boom.